Hey guys, if you just got that message saying that your scratch disk is full, it just means that your internal hard drive, okay, that means it's full or it's almost full. You have almost no storage left and some programs need a few gigs in order to run. So what does that mean? Let's just go into your Apple logo on the top left hand side. You guys will see that Apple logo and then go into about this Mac, which is your very first option. So let me zoom in a little bit. Under storage, so that's your third option, you will see this. So right here, it should tell us how much is available. Obviously, the less space that you guys have, the longer this will take in order to calculate and your computer will be actually really slow. So you might have a hard time even getting to here, but it's really necessary that you guys do. Okay, so just be patient, run it again, run it again, close any programs that you're running, okay? So don't have anything running while you guys are doing this fix. So right now I have 180 gigs. Well, that's just because I already made some room. However, that's still not enough. I need more space in order for all my programs to run smoothly, such as Photoshop, Illustrator, I got Final Cut Pro, for example. Those programs need a lot. So I'm gonna clear out even more memory because this will make my computer slow, just having 180 gigs left. So. What you guys need to do is go into manage, which is right here on the right hand side. So if we click on manage, once again, it's okay if this lags because your computer is pretty full. And right here, we will see on the left hand side, a list of things that are taking up a lot of gigs. So right now I can see my applications are taking 48 gigs. If I click on applications, I can see which ones are the biggest ones. So there might be some apps that you're just not using. So you can get rid of those from right here. For example, motion, I can go ahead and delete it from here. So that's a good thing about this manage. I can just delete everything right from here. However, some of you may not want to delete your programs. Maybe you're using all of them. That's okay. Go into documents and that's usually where the problem lies for most people. And this is my biggest one. So under documents, I see 786 gigs. Under there, I'm gonna see the biggest files, the ones that are taking up the most space. I can review these, so I can put in show finder. So down here below, you guys will see show finder. So I'm gonna zoom out again so you guys can see where I'm clicking at. So right here on the show finder, I can it will tell me where it is exactly. I can review that video. In this case, I know this is a video and it's taking up 10 gigs. So that's way too much and I need to get rid of it for sure. So just go throughout this list and keep deleting anything that you guys see that you can. This is the easiest way to clear out your space. Obviously, I always recommend to go into show finder in order to see which one of these is what. Or if you guys know what it is, just go ahead and delete it from here. After you delete it, don't forget to empty your trash bin. So your trash bin would be right here on the bottom right hand side, there's your trash. Don't forget to right click on it and then just empty that trash. Some people just forget to empty it and that's also causing one of the problems. And something very, very common, so I'm gonna close this up for now, is that people don't delete, don't fully delete their photos or videos. So they're being kept on their system anyways. So what I mean by that is go into your photos app. So here's my photos app right here. That's how it looks like. So I'm going to open it up. So once I open it up, you will see on the left hand side, this list right here. And one of the very last options will be recently deleted. There might be a ton of stuff there that you guys need to permanently delete. So every time you de delete a picture or a video from here, it goes right into here and sometimes people don't empty it out. FYI me, I did that, so my scratch disk got really, really full. So I'm gonna go right here. And yes, I already did this once, so I only have one picture left over here. And right here, on the right-hand side, top right-hand side, I can see put delete all. So just click on delete all. And finally, you guys can permanently delete these pictures and videos that you guys have there. So th that's one of the most common things and sometimes even your Mac will tell you that there's a bunch of stuff here, but that's where it lies. If you guys work with Final Cut Pro, 
you will have to go into the files themselves and see what you guys can delete. So basically guys, you need to delete some files from your Mac and then it's gonna start running fast again and you guys will fix that message where it's saying scratch disk is full, which means your storage is full. You need to empty up some space so your Mac can work properly. I always recommend, let's say you guys have an iMac such as this one, if you have space like three terabytes, such as in this case, I would always suggest having at least minimum 500 gigs of free space for your Mac to work properly. Now let's say you guys only have 500 gigs of space, then you need at least 100 gigs, no less than 100 gigs of free space in order for all your programs to run correctly and for your Mac not to be slow. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write it down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you. Oh.